cook, she got the recipe She got what you need That girl can cook, that black girl magic I gotta have it Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the absolute best <laughs> seafood gumbo on this side of Alabama, alright? So look, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. Alright y'all, so we are going to get started with this gumbo recipe, honey. And the first thing you have to do to make the perfect gumbo is make the perfect roux. So I'm about to show y'all the easiest way to do it. This is how I always do it. I don't do no other way. I don't have time to stand over no stove top, y'all. Alright? So look, we're going to take one cup of all-purpose flour. And we're going to put it in the oven safe dish. Y'all know I use cast iron, so that's what I'm using, okay? And I'm just giving it a quick mix because I don't want any clumps, alright? And I'm going to bake my flour. Yes, flour is raw, so you can bake it for about 50 to 60 minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit and look at that you see how toasty and brown it is honey look at that now look if you want to test to make sure this is gonna be that dark chocolate um, color that you need all you got to do is take you a little spoon of the flour a little spoon of the oil and mix it in a separate bowl and if it's the color that you need honey go with it if not bake it a little longer all right so look to this i'm gonna add in one cup of vegetable oil that was actually two tablespoons but add in one cup for me all right and we're gonna add in about two cups of chicken broth now i add in one cup at a time because I like to gradually mix this together. I like to make sure it comes all together really nicely. So I add it in just a little bit at a time. And this is the color you are going for, honey. A deep chocolate color. Baby, look, our roux is done. It's done, honey. And I like to use the chicken broth because it got good flavor. All right, and if you want to use all oil, you can. But I'm using chicken broth, all right? So, look, we're going to move on to the next step. See, that's done. We don't even have to deal with the roux no more. It's over. We're going to add a tablespoon of butter to a large pot. I'm using my Dutch oven because that's what I like to do. And I'm going to add in one pound of large shrimp that has been deveined. The tails are off. And it has been peeled. You guys, you don't want to eat no shrimp and you got tails on it in your gumbo. Come on now, take the tails off. So I'm going to add in a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, as well as a teaspoon of Creole seasoning, and a half teaspoon of black pepper. Alright, we just want to season up our shrimp and get them nice and cooked. I don't like to put raw shrimp in my in my food, y'all, so I'm just going to cook it up a little bit. So I'm, it, it just take about a minute or two. May not even take two minutes, probably just a good minute. And just get it nice and seared up. And once you're done, just take it, put it in a bowl, and set it aside. We'll come back to it later. This also helps to build some flavor, y'all. Look at all that good flavor down there. Y'all see that? <laughs> so look, add in a tablespoon of butter again. And I'm using two cups of my seasoning blend. You guys, y'all remember the seasoning blend from my dressing video? Yes. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and do it. So, ah, okay. But I'm using two cups of the seasoning blend, which is basically onions, carrots. I'm sorry, not carrots, y'all. Child. Onions, celery, and bell pepper. And I'm also adding in one cup of frozen okra. If you don't like okra, you don't have to add it in. You can leave it out, okay? I'm also adding in a can of stewed tomatoes. Y'all actually crushed those tomatoes up a little bit more because they were a little bit big and I didn't want them big tomatoes or nothing like that. So I crushed them up. And then here I'm adding in one tablespoon of minced garlic. Now listen, if you don't like these veggies, don't put them in your gumbo, okay? But I like them, so I'm putting them in my gumbo. All right, so there's our cup of roux. You actually have more than a cup. You can store your roux, honey. You can store it. But I'm only using a cup today of what we made. And I'm going to add in four cups of chicken broth to that roux after I give it a quick mix. All right? Just four cups. And if you have to watch your salt intake, get the low sodium. All right? Don't be telling folks I gave you high blood pressure now. All right? Be, be careful with the salt. So we're going to reduce our heat, too. You don't want it up too high at this point. So I have a tablespoon of onion powder because we got to season this up. A tablespoon of garlic powder. Make sure y'all season as well. It might be a little over a tablespoon, honestly. Two tablespoons of Creole seasoning. If you don't like the Creole seasoning, it is a little spicy. You can add Lowry seasoned salt or you can add salt. I'm also going to add in two dried bay leaves as well as one teaspoon of black pepper. Y'all, keeping it simple. One teaspoon of dried thyme because you got to have that in there as well. And I'm also going to be using some Zatarin's Pure Ground Gumbo Filet. <laughs> 
All right, I'm adding in a tablespoon of that. Now look, traditionally you would add this in at the very end as a thickening agent and also for flavor. But honey, go ahead and add it in now, it's okay, all right? And if you don't know what filet is, it comes from the plant sassafras. It's actually really delicious in your gumbo, okay? But it's not required, so if you can't find it, it's fine. But look, y'all, you want to reduce that heat. You see my pot is hot, baby. Reduce that heat and skim off some of that fat. Look at that. Get that foam out of there, honey. Get it out of there. We're going to skim it off just a little bit so we can add in this beautiful raw blue crab. You guys, I have never in the history of making gumbo and eating gumbo my grandmother has never used any other type of crab other than the blue crab. And that's why I make this in December because that's when it's in season, honey. So look, get you some blue crabs. I ain't never seen no gumbo with all these different types of crabs in it. I don't know what's going on. Now look, you can make it however you want, okay? But my grandmother made it this way. So this is how we're going to do it, okay? So look, we're going to add in our cooked shrimp. This is the cooked shrimp from earlier, y'all. Remember? Okay, so we're putting that back in there because it's time for it. And now we're also going to add in a six ounce can of white crab meat. Now this is totally optional. And if you want to use lump crab, you can use that as well. Now I'm adding in the crab meat as a thickener and also to give this some good seafood flavor. All right. So look, we're going to cover this and simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes on low heat. All right. You don't want to boil this. You want to simmer it so we can reduce it a little bit. And look, honey. Look at that, baby. <laughs> y'all stop playing. Stop, stop playing with her, okay? Y'all look at that. Beautiful color. Y'all delicious flavor. Now look, you cannot forget the Louisiana hot sauce. You got to put some hot sauce in here. So you can put it in there to taste or you can leave it out all together. Either way, grab you some, honey, and grab you a plate and let's plate this thing up. guys our delicious seafood gumbo you guys i want to dedicate this recipe to my beautiful grandmother she is the queen of gumbo you guys and she told me i couldn't have her recipe because then she said she had to kill me but <laughs> i tried to channel her as much as i could from all the memories you guys and this recipe means a lot to me and i hope you guys enjoy it as much as i enjoy sharing it with you and if you try it let me know how it went down in the comments okay let me know how it goes all right i want to hear about it it, it's, it might bring tears to my eyes y'all because this recipe means a lot but anywho i want to thank y'all for watching as always thank you for tuning in to my channel and i'll see y'all next time in the next video Bye.